I'm watching how this pandemic uh, is is influencing the, the group dynamic and how people are feeling. To be isolated for a long time can be sort of frightening because you don't know what to expect. And whenever I'm frightened, I try and really dig into the actual risks, the actual dangers, become expert on the thing that is scaring me. And that helps me deal with my natural fear. In your little spaceship, your individual actions are magnified because you're a more significant part of the population. So recognizing that and seeing it and being much more cognizant of your own influence and your own um, impact is a key part of group psychological health. Deliberately go out of your way to do things that improve the chances of the whole crew not only succeeding, but but feeling better psychologically and physically. Ease each other's burden. And then maybe the last part is be a little more self-analytical. If you notice that every other person in your expedition is behaving like a jerk, if they're all behaving like jerks, then it's probably you that's the jerk. You don't have to go to a gym to stay in shape. Uh, gyms are more social than they are anything. Uh, in any small confined space, just find a bunch of clever ways to lift your own weight. Do push-ups, do sit-ups, do jumping jacks. Hi, uh, I'm Chris Hadfield. I've, I've spent a little time self-isolating on board a spaceship. But once you understand the risk and your mission, your sense of purpose, and your obligations, then take action. Start doing things. They don't have to be the things that you always did before. Take care of family, start a new project, learn to play guitar, study another language, read a book, write, create. And I'm floating.